My old man wrote me a letter from prison once. It said if you don't want to end up like me, stay away from crime, women and drugs. Problem is, don't leave you with much else to do, does it? Music, please. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in, as always. And in this video, we're doing a day in the life. Now, if you don't know already, my name is Justin Wilkins. I'm a property investor. I work a full-time job, and I guess I'm a YouTuber. But anyway, so I've had quite a lot of requests for a day in the life, so in this video, that's what we're gonna do. Now, in case you haven't seen before, I always start most mornings with one hour of exercise at a local gym, normally every day on the way into work, normally train between 6.45 and 7.45. It's really good for the mindset. I've obviously talked about this before, but if you haven't seen it, check out this video, which I think you'll really enjoy. See you in a minute. So it's lunchtime, I think, what is the time? Quarter to one. I normally work from about 8.30 to about 12.30, take an hour's lunch break, and then do 1.30 to 4.30. And that hour's lunch break, I normally like to get out, walk around a bit, eat my lunch, obviously, and uh, maybe even read a book as well. Um, but when I'm not doing that and when I've got a property on the go or a project on the go, like at the moment, you know, I might spend lunch time uh, chasing up conveyances, doing any paperwork that I need to do, um, you know, booking in surveys, so on. So just trying to maximise my day, you know, because obviously, you know, a lot of time is spent travelling to work, at work and then travelling home from work. So if I get an hour in the middle of the day, then it's always good if possible to try and utilize that basically so but yeah apart from that you know on days where i'm not doing that it's always nice just to to get outside if the, if the weather permits and sit down read a book have a nap you know uh just utilize the hour as best as possible before going back to work as i say i normally try and finish work about 4 30 leave and then get home uh, at a reasonable time so i can work on my own stuff as well and and see what properties have come on to the market that day try and catch agents before they go home so that's what i'm up to uh, today i've got to chase some conveyances so i'm going to get on with that now From work and it's probably round about now that you're thinking that's an incredibly boring day and that's true that is true I'm making this video just to show you that whilst I'm very much a property investor very much trying to transition into becoming a full-time property investor and developer at the same time it doesn't happen overnight and I'm looking to build long-term wealth I'm looking to build assets I've covered this before but it's very much taking daily practices, daily habits, repeating them day after day after day. So for me right now, whilst I might have a project come up, I might buy a buy to let, and during that period of time, you know, I will have days here and there where I'll be working on it, or you know, I'll be dealing with solicitors, mortgage brokers, so on. 
my average day doesn't actually include a huge amount of property stuff, which is a shame. I would love to do as much as possible and I fully intend to in the future. But certainly for the time being, you know, I'd get home in the evening now and yes, I'd now focus on my property stuff. You know, I'm gonna sit down, you know, I might record a YouTube video, I might produce some Instagram content. So, you know, my evening is focused around my property and I'll be running the numbers on new potential deals. I'll be sending emails out to solicitors, conveyances once again. You know, I'll be filling out all the paperwork that's coming in and out on this current project. But my average day doesn't include lots of property stuff is what I'm trying to say. And whilst I talk to you, I just wanted to do this as a quick voiceover uh, so that you can actually see that I, I do work in terms of property and I do things, you know, that I have to turn my hands to. I do DIY and, you know, the thing is, if you watch me on Instagram, you'll probably see this anyway, but I'll do things as and when they come up. But I've been very lucky this summer in the sense I've been able to help my parents, uh, you know, replace a patio. I've been able to help my girlfriend with a member of her family's property, you know, sell it, clear it and so on. I've been able to spend time on the property that we live in and finish it, you know, replace a couple of the floors, you know, help replace some of the kitchen. And now we're potentially buying another project in which it will take up a lot of my time. I'll spend a lot of time renovating and refurbishing it. So as I've mentioned, you know, these, as and when things come up, that's when I chip in. That's when I'll take a day off work here and there. That's where I'll do extra work at the weekends and in my evenings. But for the most part, I just spend time living my daily routine. Go to the gym, get on the bus, go to work, work hard, try and do as much as I can with my job and I like the company I work for, finish, come home, do my own stuff, do my property stuff, my YouTube stuff, building up my property company and a couple of businesses there on the side. So I just wanted to show you my extremely boring day in my life, but hoping that it will somehow inspire you as well to know that if your life isn't incredibly exciting or if your life isn't revolving around property 24 seven, there's nothing to worry about because you're taking the strides to getting where you want to be. And like me, you're putting everything in place to get where you want to be basically. So I hope this video has been somewhat interesting or useful or entertaining. And uh, I'm just gonna keep making new videos, new topics, mixing it up because I enjoy doing that. And I think from what the feedback I'm getting, people are enjoying the different styles of video. But thank you for watching as always. If you've made it this far, please give it a like. I really appreciate you. And until next week, I'll see you in the next video.